I'm Keith Ruffin. Today we have a die cash review on Kyle Larson's 2018 Chicago Land Credit One Bank Patriotic Race Version. Um, so, before we get into this, the car is a race version. Um, he finished second in the race because he got wrecked on uh, turn three by Kyle Bush, who just drove through him for no reason. And I don't like Kyle Bush anyway. Maybe even more matter when he did that. Um, but this car is awesome. I'm glad they made it. Still waiting for Kyle Larson to win again. It's been like 60 races since he's won. But at least they got a race version of So let's go ahead and go to the box. We've got Kyle Larson, Age 4 and Up, Chicken Ass Racing, Barco, NASCAR Logo, Age 4 and Up, Ash Race Selectables, Steel Choice Champion, Warren Chicken Habs, Small Parks, and Officer, and 3 years old, Action Race Collectibles. Kyle Larson, 42 Credit One Bank Picture Art Race Version, 2018 Camaro ZL1, Limited Edition, 164 Scale Stock Car, Limited Edition Collectible. My fourth Camaro from 2018, uh, got Chase's Duel, Chase's Watkins Glen, and Austin Dillon's Daytona 500 win. This is a cool one. I love this paint scheme. I was so happy when they, um, Showed up to the track in it, <laughs> and he ran well the whole day. Ran that upper groove like he always does, and he was really good. Uh, we got a race version out of it at least. Let's go ahead and get our sponsors. So we got a Credit One Bank in the front. We got 42 Chevy ZL1 Chip Ganassi Racing. We got a Goodyear NASCAR Salutes logo. We got Kyle Larson on the name rail. Uh, Cessna. Coca-Cola first data Freightliner maybe. We got McDonald's <clears throat> Credit One. We got Kmart, Sherman Williams, and Lincoln Motors. We got DC Solar, American Ethanol. In the back you got a Credit One Bank card <clears throat> right there. Credit One Bank Chevy Camaro ZL142. Back we got U.S. Vets, 40, or we got Larson, Credit One Bank, and 42 on top. Sponsor-wise, it's the same on this side. Pretty awesome looking car. Let's go ahead and go over the paint scheme. So, as you can tell, it's a blue, dark blue car. Um, it's like a matte finish, I believe. That's what it's called. Um... And you got these like white lashes with awesome red, white, and blue stars that shoot. It's on the EL mold, a black splitter, black uh, spoiler. Um, go ahead and go damage. <clears throat> so, or race, race stuff. Um, can't really tell. A little bit of dirt that's noticeable, just a little. Um, they got a piece of tape holding down the hood, hood pins right there, and got a little bit of dirt on the front. It's hard to tell, you can see it there. Um, yeah, there's a good amount of dirt in the white, you can tell, probably. Looks pretty clean around the back here. This is where a little bit of damage is. <clears throat> this is black. This is from when Kyle drove through him and totally wiped out his day. And sides crunched in. Uh, I don't know how. He probably got in the wall during the day sometime. He didn't get in the wall when he wrecked him. Um, he just like slid down into grass and got sideways. Kyle Bush actually went into the wall. And they made a race version of that in NASCAR Authentic, so I'm looking for that in my Walmart, so I can't find it. But it's going to be awesome. Can't wait to get it if I do. And you got some burn marks here. A lot more dirt down the side and damage right there. Tell. Yep. Overall, probably a yeah, 10 out of 10 for this car, too. As a... Uh, same for my Eric Jones car that I reviewed last night. Um, paint scheme wise, the Jones car, nah. But 
the race version of it. Oh yeah. Now, a lot of confetti. It looks awesome. But this has been Kyle Larson's Credit One Bank Patriotic Race Version. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for even more.